turned out pretty good. Throw. So we're gonna see where the lines are at where we left off. Um, I don't think it messed up or anything. So we'll come back in the morning. All right, so I ran out of filament and I put in the black one now. All right, so we're gonna see how the great uh, print comes out after. So right now we're at 55 percent. Um, another overnight, and let's see what happens at night tomorrow. We'll come and see, but it's looking good right now so far. All right, let's do a round two on the actual any cubic Cobra two max. Now look at this monstrosity. This actually took me actually two spools because I put extra supports on it. Um, next time I'm not gonna put these kind of supports, but I want to make sure that I didn't, first time using it, they want to make sure it failed. You guys can see some of the failure was here because it needed extra support on the outside, but it's not bad. It's something I could recover from. Now I did. This is one spool I had, and it finished. So the actually. Um, combination was really good it floated pretty good you can't really see the line that much i'm going to spray it after we're going to see if we can actually see some of the stuff but the supports are really strong so i use persia so i'm gonna have to remove them manually and this is a huge one it took about 24 hours to do this one even on this um, system but that's not bad because if it was a regular speeds it would have probably even take longer now Let's go ahead and review the machine with some of the things that I don't like about it and I do like about it. So let's go ahead and do that. One of the things I don't like about this system is that this plate itself, it's humongous. So it's a really scratch here and there. But the problem is that lining it up, it's a little difficult because there's nothing in the back that's going to hit to hold the actual cement. See how it's crooked here in this line? So if you mess it up and go this way, you can put it more this way, it's gonna hit the system even if you hit it this way. So kind of make sure you have to line it up by eye and lifting it up from the corner, slowly bringing it down. That's the only way you're gonna line it up and I'm still even not lined up correctly. So that's the hard part about this. So if you're building something that is gonna be taking over the entire plate, you gotta make sure that this is accurate. So printing, my next thing is gonna maybe some supports here in the back that we're gonna print. Um, another thing I don't like about this is this cable. I mean, cable management is horrible here, uh, but unfortunately you have to have it here because this thing goes all the way up. And this thing, we're gonna to have to move it maybe to the top, make it even higher for supporting. So if you guys can see, there is nothing on top, so we might have to end up putting something similar to the to the one I have, like the Neptune I have, or maybe my Oak Reality. We're gonna probably put the spool there, and then change this around where this comes out the opposite way. So we're gonna try to see if we can do something like that. Now, another thing that I really don't like about it, it, it comes with an antenna for wireless. I was able to set this up. It has a picture here for your actual um, camera, camcorder, and two other USBs but this is useless because the online services that supposed to start in september never started the cloud systems never started so everything you're doing it you have to do it with the usb and they give you a cheap usb to begin with um so it does have internal memory but you cannot even put it there until you actually use the usb that's the only way you're going to be able to transfer stuff right now currently now the belts came loose they were loose just make sure you tighten it up every time you're going to print, um, especially the top one here. This is a lot loose, so make sure you do that. Um, when it comes out of the box, it already has oil. Don't add more extra oil, but if you want to, it's an option. Now, the good thing I like about this that I didn't have to do any lineup or anything like that. And I didn't have to do anything manually to modify or anything it just print it out of the box excellent now one thing i didn't like about that is that it had extra um filament that you needed to clean up it doesn't i wish it was cleaning up here it doesn't clean up at all it just continues to grow so before that i had these to intercept some of the actual filament take it out for the first layer because the first layer might mess up the whole print but luckily i learned from the smallest print I was able to do the smallest prints, took my advice from the first one, 
end up using it on this one nothing happened so if you guys notice the bottom it's perfectly at first i thought it was going to start messing up here but it recovered really well it was just the first layer it's it's not completely 100 percent on the z-axis correctly but you could manually physically go in there and change it while it's printing but uh a second layer i didn't see this so i was able to just let it run now the whole print itself looks very well this is a large print so if you're going to print cosplay helmets and stuff like that it's going to take a while you know and just be patient because the machine is not a hundred percent fast like they advertise it still takes its time but i gotta take its time to print right than wrong so this is not bad the little drip i could clean this up sand it but the print came out really good and it doesn't have a lot of string let me see the strings so if you do that just get a torch just get them out like that easily gets rid of all the, the stuff all the torch that's how i get rid of all the stuff easily very simple i have a little torch ready to go all the time too so overall it's a great buy uh, i'm very pleased because if i'm going to do multiple prints i'm going to set up one print here two three four five six seven eight nine ten prints maybe even more it depends on how much fill you have so you have all this space wonderful space to work with all right so out of the box i didn't put any glue but Depending on the weather, I'm actually have it outside because it is loud and it is large and it's taking up a huge space. This is a large table and I do my projects out here, my 3D projects and printing. And this is the only place I'm going to have, but I'm going to build something just for this, maybe a mobile station or something. But this thing, the entire thing shakes. So you have to have some stable place to set this up. So. That's the only fallback on this. It's very unstable, I would say. It shakes the whole entire table. So if you're going to print something, make sure you have something strong enough to hold this and large enough to fill the space, too. So overall, great machine. I do recommend anybody that's going to purchase something like this. for Just make sure you have a lot of spool. So I got a lot of spools just for this machine because we're going to do cosplay. And Halloween's around the corner. Built helmet or so. And then come back later down the line and I'll show you some of the prints. Now, this is going to be a Harry Potter um, statue that we're doing. He's on a motorcycle with um, the heavy guy. I forgot his name, but it looks great. It's almost as good as a resin. A little bit off, but look at that. They're getting really good, these machines. So overall, really good large prints. Another thing that this machine cannot handle. If you lose power this machine will not recover any prints i tried everything i tried three or four times disconnecting powering on wasn't able to recover any kind of system so they might have to go out there and upgrade that or it doesn't have that option so if you're going to buy some of this make sure you're aware if your power goes out you're going to lose your print luckily i was testing it on a little small print just to let you guys see i'm going to put the video up so you guys can see it but it did not work and that's some concern of mine, especially if you're in the middle of printing something like this large. So just be buyer beware of that. But if you have extra power, surge protection and so forth, and you're okay with it, or you have a farm, be aware about that too. So okay, with this one, we're going to do a test to see how well it is from recovering. So we're going to do a test of a Benchy. We're going to let it print a couple minutes. So we're going to do that test of recovery we'll give it about maybe two minutes before we cut the cable and then come back so it's going to be a quick benchy um all right we're going to disconnect the power disconnecting the power see if it can pick up like a power failure power failure comes on say we lost power we bring power back on i'm going to see if it could recover from a power failure like other machines can all right we're also going to make other changes too. We're going to change the filament. We'll start another print after I finish the benchy. I'm going to see, make sure that I push the actual existing filament through so we can continue to print this one. But right now, it's asking us if you want to print. So we're going to say print. 
Let's see if we could recover. Boom. I don't think we could recover it. Fan, move, cloud, support, more settings. Yeah, I'm not able to recover the benchy, so let me see. No. I don't see anywhere I can recover. I don't think we're going to be able to recover from here. If you lose power, I'm not able to recover. Unless they do an update, unless it comes up, it, it didn't recognize that you were able to recover. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.